Hi and God bless. I hope everyone's having a grateful day today. Today, David and I decided to plant our own garden. You know that I've been talking about wanting to move and the reason, one of the biggest reasons aside from church, fellowship, and change of lifestyle was that we wanted to really have a garden. We obviously do not live in a house, but even though we are currently leasing for a year until we see where the Lord will take us, I wanted to start my own raised garden bed. So we have been researching for a while how to grow our herbs, how to maintain the herbs, what to do and stuff like that. So we found this YouTube channel, Epic Gardening, I believe. If you guys are into gardening, you might know him. He's pretty popular in the YouTube world. So I ended up following him and watching his stuff. I will say David and I learned quite a bit a lot of how to do some gardening. We're not experts or anything like that. So quite a bit a lot. Yeah, so if you guys see anything that we could fix or we're doing wrong, just let us know in the comments below. But this is what we were doing and this is how we're starting. It's not a lot, but we didn't want to bite off more than we can chew, especially since we're newbies. But I'm really hoping that this is going to work out for us. We do get quite a bit of sunlight, so hopefully we'll be able to make this work. So now we're just going to get into today's video and you will see us gardening. Yep. So we are looking for herbs today. So we came to this spot and I'm looking at the lavender. And we're trying to decide which ones we want. I'm going to get a small bed here for the balcony. oregano there's lemongrass lemon balm so wait where's the rosemary over here I know for a fact if we get mint it has to be planted elsewhere huh The cilantro. I'm not crazy about how it looks here. I think it looked a little better at uh, Whole Foods, no? Unless there's like another section. I want to ask someone. Yeah, I have I have um chai not chai. I have fennel at home, but the dried one. Let me ask someone. This place is super cute. It's massive. Fortunately, we don't have a home yet, so I can have a garden bed, but I've been researching and looking out to find multiple alternatives. So, that's why we're here. The parsley looks good, actually. Let me see if they have like the little tiny beds, and then we can figure out where to go from here. David and I just got home. We got some gardening stuff, so I got gardening gloves. I got this little tiny shovel. I wanted to get more, but... It was unnecessary, I just wanted it for aesthetic reasons, so I was like, no, no, don't do it. Then, we ended up getting this water tin, and this over here is a wood stainer and sealer, and the sponges because we got a raised bed, but it is a light wood, and I do not like light wood. So, this is the raised garden bed, we ended up getting it at Walmart. And then we got this at Home Depot. This is the organic potting soil. And it is for veggies. Well, not just veggies, but herbs and veggies. And there's Gigi I'm trying to get all up in the mix. So we want to stain it and then we're going to end up putting it behind here. This door we do not utilize is actually to the neighbor on the other side. But I think it's going to look really good once it's all stained. David is currently putting our raised garden bed together. We have these chairs out just because we want to see how they will look here. But it's spring, so we have our flowers out, as you can see. And then for our herbs, I ended up getting dill, cilantro, strawberries, lavender, and rosemary. So... David's going to end up putting this together and then we're going to use this walnut stain so that it matches 
these chairs we ended up using the tint and we did not like the color um on camera shows like it looks okay but in person it just looks very red toned and ashy so we ended up going back to home depot and getting a brown paint so we're gonna end up using this instead So as you guys can see, David and I are painting our garden raised bed because the first wood thing was a complete flop. But on camera, for some reason, it looks better, but we like how it turned out, so this is it. And here, we're just getting our raised garden bed ready. We have to put our black linen cover, and then we're putting the soil. So this soil is the organic one. It's not a mixed one. It does not have peat moss because there is controversy regarding peat moss, but to us it's really not that serious. We just picked it because we did research on the soil and we saw that this one was intended for what our needs were at the moment. So we're just mixing it, blending it, panning it down, making it look good, you know, just getting it ready and all that good stuff. The first thing that we're potting is the rosemary and one of the biggest reasons why we wanted to start doing our garden was not only to save money for our home economy and to cook with our herbs but to be resourceful and then I can eventually when we get a home start our own garden in the back. We would love to do an apple tree, a lemon tree and so much more but we decided that this was going to be the best for us to kind of get the hang of what we're doing and how we can get the hang of growing herbs because I know for a fact there's going to be a lot of trial and error with this. So I wanted to start off small and then get bigger and bigger with the type of vegetable herbs and fruits that we want to grow. Also, we do not have the most room but we're making the most of it so this is what's working at the moment with this garden advantage we want to create the things we can sow because the lord has given us this gift so as you guys can see we just finished putting all the herbs together and what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to just be sniffing whatever's getting outgrown and whatever's ready to be cut off so for the rosemary i'm not gonna cut off where it's hard and woody i was told to do it when it's like soft like this i'm just gonna cut wherever it's soft and keep the woody parts this is what i have so far i didn't cut off too much i was just basically grooming whatever needed to be cut because we had gotten these a couple days ago and they have grown since so i just wanted to touch up a little bit uh herbs were starting to grow a lot in the last couple of days so i wanted to chop whatever i could off the herbs in the back i really want to eventually get a dehydrator to dehydrate them and then i can smash them up and then put them into spices but I don't have that right now and it's kind of costly so I'm just going to use whatever I have to cook with. I'm thinking of cooking either steak tonight or some type of chicken or just something that I can incorporate the herbs with. And then what I did do yesterday was I added a little bit of that lavender into our cleaning supplies. So I think with this lavender what I'm going to do is my mom was saying to add it in your room like in the pillows or somewhere where it has fragrance because it'll help you to sleep better at night. So I'm gonna play around with that and then see how that works out. So I picked out a good amount and I'm definitely gonna use something to cook with. When you come into our balcony, this is what our little garden is looking like. So we have our rosemary, cilantro, dill, our strawberries, which haven't grown yet. We just have like this little bud somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is, this little bud right here. I ended up putting the strawberries next to the rosemary because i saw online that it gives it a nice fragrance and it's also really good for the strawberries now as you guys can see there are some tiny little buds growing i've been watching some gardening stuff um this one in particular named epic gardening on youtube and he recommends snipping the buds because it creates more leaves which in turn will create more flowers you have to know what specific strawberry you're putting in to know how to treat it care for it just like with all the other herbs Yeah, this is 
The layout is gonna have to stay like this for now, just so that we can open up the doors. So this is how big it is when you walk. This is what it looks like. Which is not too bad because we can still get around there. I can move the chair and stuff like that. But this is the best way it's going to work in order for the chairs to be here. Okay, so we were playing with the layout and we found another way to do it. And I don't know if we should keep it like this or the other way. So if you're watching, comment down below and let us know. I think we're going to leave it like this for now. Just so we can come and sit out here. But this is what it looks like. I sound like I'm out of breath, but I promise it's the altitude in Colorado. We're so high in elevation, so it's like there's days that I'm super out of breath and days that I'm feeling very powerful. But this is what we have. We don't have to keep this out here. The only reason why it's here for now is because sometimes if it gets windy, we like to put this little stool right here. Dave and I like to have breakfast here. I like to have my matcha. He likes to have his chai here. And we just love to look at the mountain view. So I'm thinking that this might be it yeah, like yeah i think this might look good but comment down below let us know what you guys think look at her come on <laughs> i think i like this layout what do you think yeah it's nice so david is saying if we move this to the corner if the door's gonna hit it which or like this i'm side. not sure but that would be cute too because you could do it like a little side table it might hit it. does it it does it does oh it does that's another option too yeah i'm gonna put it this way just because this is oh, yeah. facing that way see now you can sit here not like obstruction while we're sitting we can always just bring the table to us if we oh, need yeah, yeah. it you put know like right in front of, of us and stuff let's see it's gonna feel bigger once you close the door yeah that's true so this is with the door closed so there's still yeah there's still some room i can move this down we can just relax and chill I love our garden.